In 1992, the United Nations proclaimed December 3rd the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And to recognize that important date, the Victoria Disability Resource Center is holding its annual Artists with Disabilities Showcase. Veronica Cooper has a preview. This is just a Chinese dragon that I saw an image of and I really, really liked it. Artist Les Chan works in many mediums. One of his favorites is needlepoint. It's quite laborious because I hold the frame between my knees and my, my chest and I do the needlework laboriously one hand. Les was a young teen when his life changed forever. I had a brain tumor at 13. I consider myself the lucky one because I've just been able to adapt myself very easily. So I don't know any difference. Les is an integral member of the Victoria Disability Resource Center. We see around 10,000 people a year. We do a lot of helping people fill out forms, applying for disability benefits. We've got a computer access program so people can come in and um, check their emails, look at their Facebook, keep connected with family, do some job search, print resumes, things like that. November the 5th, 2009, I woke up in the middle of the night with deep piercing ear pain uh, deep inside my head. And uh, that was the beginning of a long journey. Artist Karen McLaughlin now lives with chronic pain. Arteries are impinging upon the cranial nerves as they come out of the brain stem. Both these artists are part of the sixth Artists with Disabilities Showcase. I think it started originally in the office with just a few artists and now we have close to 40 artists submitting their work and we have over 100 submissions every year. Um, we feature around 20 to 25 artists and 30 to 40 pieces. Karen credits the showcase with bringing back her confidence. Being part of the art show made all the difference. I don't think that I uh, would have integrated into a community or even found a community had I not applied for that art show. We were at the art gallery for two years, but of course they're in renovation, so we're not there this year. Instead, Flux Media Gallery, right next door on Fort Street, is presenting the showcase. The show is going to occur over four days, Friday, November 30th to Monday, December the 3rd. Um, and during the entire time, our offices will be open, providing refreshments, information on our programs. We will have accessible washrooms. The juried showcase will include painting, photography, fabric and sculpture. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.